hello guys welcome to knife media um please if today is your first time of visiting this channel kindly subscribe to the channel um, share for other people to benefit it's really really important that you share this video for college students to benefit as well and then comment put all your questions everything in the comment section and i'll reply all your questions so Ghana Education Trust Fund has opened the portal for undergraduate students that is 2023, 2022, sorry, 22-23 academic year. So in this video, I'm going to take you guys through how to go about the application. I mean, your requirements and most importantly, how to go about the application letter. A lot of people are like, how should I go about it? So I will open the Microsoft Word so that I will share with you, I mean, the the steps, the approach, how you should address it. So let me take you guys through the requirement. Yes, yes, what you're supposed to get. So this is the portal for the Get Fund Scholarship. That is it. So you open your browser and then you put in scholarship.getfund.gov.gh. You open the tab like this, then you type you type in the link that is scholarship so as a new link like this i mean a new type like this then we type it over here you see this place all right so let us go back so this is the link scholarship.getfund.gov.gh if you've already gotten the link and let's say for instance if you open the if you open it then it has redirected you to the page so now i'm going to take you guys through the requirements so these are the requirements for the 22 23 academic year so first of all let us take it one after the other. Oh, applicant, please kindly watch this video to the end because I'm going to take you guys through how to go about the application. I mean, the how to write the application. So do where to watch the video to the end. Yes, sir. So, so now all applicants are required to complete the application. For, I mean, the application formed by the Get Fund Scholarship Portal. So you scan a copy of. So scan copy of the signed application letter. So you open your Microsoft Word, you type your letter, you print it out, then you sign it. After signing, then you scan it, you convert it into PDF. That is one. And then you scan your proof of nationality, meaning it's your passport or your national ID card. I mean, uh, the Ghana card, yes, or your passport. So you take a picture of them, nice picture of them, and then. I don't know if you can scan it yourself into a printed press and they will convert it in for you. But if you can, if you have that, I mean, application on your phone, you just take a picture and then you convert it into PDF. But then for the letter, you can't do it with your phone because you have to print it out and get the hard copy, sign, and then you upload that one. So with the Ghana card or the passport, you can just take a picture and then scan it and convert it into PDF and upload it. Now, the next one that we are going to talk about is that admission letter clearly stating the program duration. So, if you don't have your admission letter with you, kindly do it and then search for it. Because, as you can see over there, it wasn't, I mean, indicated like where applicable, meaning it's something you must get. You see, where you see where applicable, meaning it may apply to some category of people, but with the admission letter clearly stating the program duration, you should get it. You should get your approved uh, field schedule for 22-23 academic year. So hopefully, let's say by the close of this week, uh, hopefully they will, they will um, I mean, upload the school fees for us. So as a prospective applicant, I would advise that you write, you look for all the documents, you, I mean, the requirements, your application letter, your proof of nationality, you get everything ready so that immediately you get to know that the school fees has been upload it then you go and then you download it then you add it to it so that you meet the deadline all right so the next one that i'm going to talk about is the secondary school certificate resource and um, yc that is where we have where applicable so the yc the the c tibet and any other certificates recognized by the ghana tertiary education commission into bracket where applicable so for instance like continuing students most of them are, as a continuing student will be asked to upload their transcript yes if you're a level 100 student or a fresher um that is where um, you'll be required to upload your resources yes
and uh, thank you for even continuing students you'll be asked to upload your western users as well so please do well and get all these documents ready so that immediately your this thing your school fees i mean the school fees is uploaded then you'll be able to submit them on time to avoid meeting the deadline so the previous academic transcript for continuing student as i said earlier so you can see that if you're a continuing student that is uh, you have to upload your transcript you go to for those of us at university of um, University of Ghana, you just go to your MIS web, then you download your transcript over there, then you see you upload it. All right, so that is it. I'm sure um, other tertiary they do have their portal as well, definitely. So you have to upload it from your school site, then you have in your transcript, then you upload that one. So one is the previous undergraduate certificate should you already have if you are pursuing another undergraduate certificate, you have to upload all your transcripts from your previous uh program let's take for instance like h and d diploma or yeah something like that you have to upload your transcript from your previous i mean um your previous program that is it so if you're a continuing student like level 200 level 300 student that is for you i mean this one this particular one and the previous undergraduate certificate if you are doing a top up like the, the h and d student the diploma and um, and all you have a degree but you're doing a top up that one to you have to upload your previous transcript so guys these are the requirements please if you really want to apply you need to get all these documents done you need to get all the documents done so that you upload everything and trust me everybody stands a chance of what's getting it that is it so the application letter you are going to address this is the uh, it says scan a copy of the signed application letter to be uploaded should be addressed to so this is going to be your recipient address so guys let us start without wasting much time let me open the microsoft word and then share with you guys how to go about it so we are going to talk about how to write the application letter and the most important part of this commercial publication whole thing don't forget so, to subscribe and then share this video for other people to benefit as well so the purpose of this application letter one is that um you should be able to exhibit that indeed you are brilliant and a needy student and then again uh, you write the application letter to indicate that indeed you apply for this scholarship there are some instances where people would just pick um i mean um family members and other stuff and then give and give them the scholarship like that you see the application letter really helps to indicate that indeed this person really applied for it and um, he or she really needs it so you should be able to demonstrate that in the application letter so with this i'm going to give out a format how you should go about it yes so i already have here in my clipboard a sample data type just to make the video very short so i have it in my clipboard a sample of the application letter i typed yes so i'm going to hit ctrl v to paste it so that so um after hitting ctrl v the sample that i wrote over here has appeared so that is it so the this part that is the writer's address and then the recipient address in the uh, site where I showed you guys this is the address it, it, say, it says that you should address them your, your letter should be addressed to this one the administrator gets fine people about this and then you go ahead and you add other stuff to it so request of scholarship to pay tuition fee and other expenses so um, uh, so this is you can choose this one or you can you can rephrase it come up with your own so that is it so then we all know um essays how to write essays and the intro the body and then the conclusion where the introduction will contain the background information of the topic at hand or how you got to know um the get fan scholarship or maybe you give a brief history of your academic journey then again you include a point that you will explain in the body so if so um you should be very careful with the introduction because um, um though 
all the parts are very important but the introduction and the conclusion are very very important they're the key so you should make sure that your your introduction is solid and then the conclusion too is good as well so that is it so the the conclusion should contain the summary of the points you have the summary of the points you mentioned in the body how you wrote it and you summarize everything and if there is a plead you make you make it in the just to place an emphasis on what you said yeah so this is how you can go about the application letter so that is it i cannot read mine to you guys how i wrote mine either than that i uh people i mean the wedding is, will be the same so that is it so the introduction can be how you can express your your gratitude i mean your your joy in knowing that there is this opportunity i mean like opportunity like this because of your 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 i mean your desperate how desperate you are as a result of what financial difficulty and you knowing that there is a get fun or opportunity like this where a student can get so where somebody who is brilliant and needy can get his or his school fees paid so you can express the joy in the introduction part and then let's say you give um i mean, I mean information of how you got to know it and your to explain um your background information i mean your academic in your academic your background information you can explain a bit and then again the body will contain some of the challenges you've been through was in the previous in your previous studies i mean junior high and shs and and your current state of being the reason why you need the scholarship you should be able to exhibit it and if your gpa is very very encouraging that one though you submit you upload your transcript though over there but you can include that one here as well just to reach your and reach your destiny your application letter so guys let me include the date so the date should take should correspond to this one it should correspond to the administrator so if possible you put your case here and then you create space so that it will be on the horizontal horizontally to be aligned to the administrator for instance let's say um today i'm using today's date so you use the date that you're writing your application letter so let me say um let's say 12 or 4 so 12 for um december and then so that is it so that is where your date should be so basically this is the format you should use yes um let me change that then so this is the format you can use it's not you should use okay if i if i say you should use the meaning it's something that but this with this particular one it must be the, it must be the same because as stated over there this should be your recipient address and the formats and the recipient the writer's address too shouldn't be something complicated just something brief you get it so Ruth Spencer or Eric and Kwan, University of Ghana or University of Cape Coast something short like this and then but make sure that your, your make sure that your entire application letter should take like um let me send this back a bit let me see. Um, should take like uh let's say minimum of two pages will be okay you get it so let me move this up a bit So that is it. The format should be like this. Yes. And your application letter should be shouldn't be just one page. No, you don't do that. <laughs> just one page, no, it's bad. I'm not discouraging you, but at least you should know 
is something what is going to be a competitive one so you should be able to stand out at least two pages will be fine okay all right This is a brief of how you go about the application letter so that is it for now if you have any question anything at all kindly comment it or drop it in the comment section and i'll do well to answer them thank you for watching this video do well to subscribe share for other people to benefit thank you with nakfi media